season long we've been showing you arrangements that we've made fresh out of our cut flower garden. But as you can see, the winter weather has taken its toll. But that's okay because we can still make some beautiful arrangements out of some of the materials that we've dried. Well today, I'm making a Thanksgiving arrangement out of a lot of the materials that we've dried out of our cut flower garden. And to start out with, if you recall, about three weeks ago, I was cutting some Sweet Annie. Well, it's dry now, and that's the base of my arrangement. But before I start to show you this arrangement, I wanted to show you uh, the basic tools that you would need to use with dried flowers. Now, once you've selected a container, you need to get the right floral foam to put in there. Now, most of the time this summer, we've been using the floral foam for fresh flowers. As you can tell, it's very soft. But the foam that you use for dried flower arrangements is very tough. And it's important to get this because that will help your arrangement to stand up. And you can get this at your craft store. So just ask for dried flower arranging foam. The next thing that you need is some bowl tape and that's the name of it and you can get it in this wide or you can get it in a narrow strip and you'll want to tape this foam down to the top of your bowl so that it doesn't fall out and you can see right here how I've done that I've taped that down now when I get through all of the flowers are going to cover that up but that will keep that stable in the bowl well to go over some of the materials that I've used in this arrangement Again, I started out with Sweet Annie and I kind of made an overall bowl effect on the top and covered up the foam with that. Next, I added some of our grain sorghum here that we had. And that is really, really pretty and it has a nice Thanksgiving effect to it. I also used some of the amobium that we had growing in our garden and it actually is still out there growing away in our garden. So we're going to dry even more of this. Well, if I would have stuck with those three, this would have been kind of a bland arrangement. And so I've added some of our blue salvia to give it quite a bit of color. And to top that all off, one of our ambassadors had collected some bittersweet. And so I've put a few of those in just to give it a really bright show. And so this makes a nice arrangement for the Thanksgiving table. Well, in addition to drying flowers to preserve them, you can also do a process known as glycerinating. And that's actually very easy to do. You just need uh, to make a glycerin solution and then collect your plant materials. And to make the glycerin solution, you use two parts water to one part glycerin. Now glycerin you can buy at your drugstore. They either have it out on the shelf or you can go back and ask them for it. I bought a pint of it, I just asked for a pint, and it runs about six dollars for a pint. So that's where you get the glycerin. And to mix it with the water, you need to heat the water to boiling. And then you need to remove it from the heat and add the glycerin to it and then stir it up. Now it is important to remember not to heat the glycerin or to add the glycerin to the water while the water is um, on the stove. You need to remove it from the stove because glycerin is actually very flammable. Next, you want to collect your plant materials. And today I'm using uh, some magnolias to do this and this actually works very well for um, any of your broadleaf evergreens and even some of your um, fall foliage and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pliers and crush the bottom of the stems here and then just insert them in this solution like this. and that will help them to take up the solution better. Now you'll want to experiment with this a little bit because in glycerinating the foliage can turn a different color. Some of these uh, foliage types will turn kind of a coppery or brassy color so you, or even a, maybe a darker green so you'll want to experiment with that. But it is a good way to preserve these for arrangements coming up here for Christmas. Now. Um, with the larger leaves, it, this is going to take about three weeks to take up glycerin. And so you're going to want to make up some more solution and then add that to your container as the plants draw this up. Now how this works is the glycerin goes up into the foliage and the water evaporates and finally your foliage is filled with glycerin and it keeps them supple. 
and it's a good way to preserve them. So, well, one final project that's kind of fun indoors is planting lettuce in a kind of an unusual container. Now here I have a strawberry pot, and you've probably seen people planting obviously strawberries in these, or hens and chicks, and even herbs, but this is a fun project to do inside, and uh, you might want to get the kids to help you do this, but you just fill a strawberry pot with some well-drained potting soil, and firm it down in there, and make sure it comes out into the little loops here. Now I got this strawberry pot, and it's a nice terracotta pot. It's very pretty. And this was about $10, so it's not a real big investment. Now, after I've got the soil in there and I've firmed it up, I'm going to plant some lettuce in my strawberry pot. And it's important to get the leaf lettuce to do this with because the head lettuce wouldn't work. But I'm just going to take and put a few seeds in each of these little lips here on the pot. Now remember when you plant lettuce seed, you just lightly broadcast it on the top and then lightly firm it in. And I'll put a little bit of lettuce in each one of these holes. Now we'll thin this out, about one plant per lip, but I'm planting about three seeds in right now. Now I'm going to put a few here on the top. You could mix this up. You could put a few radishes in the top and have a salad in, a, in your pot if you wanted to. And I'll firm that in, water it, and then set that in a sunny window. Now this type of time of year, a south window works really well because the sun is in the south. And keep that watered and you should have a salad ready to go in just a few weeks. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.